I've been I've been binge eating. I've been Bad. binge drinking. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> when it's made in Sparrow. The, gl- the glow yeah. is gone, dear. We're here with Caitlin Bristow of uh, The Bachelor, The Bachelorette. And the Titanic. She's wearing the heart of the ocean and the today. Titanic and a very bad neighborhood in Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah. She's made it up here in her black New York leather. Um, her legs are not, not shaven. shaven. Oh, and she has a slouch sock on. She has a slouch sock. She has uh, Air Force Ones that looks like she got them on the corner of 28th and 7th. <laughs> and a really, really bad attitude. Caitlin, welcome. And she has Caitlin's, um, Caitlin's friend is here as well. Her lesbian twin. Now you were saying before they came on that you had sense that they were scissoring. Well, I asked. I, I asked why I smelled. I smelled burning fur, and I said, <laughs> and "I was wait. Look at our wallpaper. Burning. Focus, dear. Focus, Sorry, dear. Focus, 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 dear. The burning fur. What am I looking at? The wallpaper is peeling off the wall. Oh yeah. Yeah. Oh, I thought that was real brick. <laughs> Well, similar, oh, you man. had the chemical peel peel off your bussy earlier today oh, <laughs> yeah. before you came in. Um, thank you for coming in. Thank you for having me. We're a little unhinged. just a little different. We I'm were on always Caitlin, unhinged. We were on oh, Caitlin's yeah. show about a month ago. Yes. And we buttoned it up very nice. And Caitlin said she wants to come on our show. And we said, well, buckle up, Buttercup, yeah. because it's about to get filthy and raunchy. You had, and you had oh, your, um, your producer in your ear. Yes. We <sighs> get um, our producer, Marty, right here fixing her cam. That's actually. Yeah, I don't know what you want me to do to fix that. But. That's really Your nice cam? that you guys have someone in studio. Mine has to be over Zoom. Marty's the best. Oh. Have, Marty's the best. We have and a crotch cam on Marty too. So anytime oh. yeah. um, an attractive man comes in, we look at we look right at that hog piece and it I pops right up. I also love that you get to do this because you have the best laugh. And so, don't thank you. Appreciate it. Who can't yeah. fit in out the door? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> so, no, he does. We hear it all the time. Obsessed with your laugh. Yeah. Jason and I talked about it after we left that night. We're like, no. I just want that in my. Ear holes at all times. Well, well it might oh. be a lot of, at all times. Like, <laughs> oh my once lord! In a, once well, in a thank while. you. Listen to the podcast two yeah. times a week. <laughs> we, had, we had a very fun night out in Nashville when oh, we were out. We had so much fun. You were so we did our live show in Zanies. You I came. almost died that night, by it the way. Why? Yeah, tell them what happened. You you weren't there for it. Did I not tell you about this? Oh yeah, you were really sick for a moment. Yes, I caught the, I caught the bird flu. The bird. You were hungover. Uh, okay, that's I think probably what it was. And I told you all you need is a tequila shot, and yeah. then. You, I took two. You took two. And, and a, Xanax. Xanax, a bra Xanax. Oh, right. And a Xanax. A Xanax in someone's bra. And, um, but I was almost, I was almost going to like, I felt like I was gonna about to throw up. I was like, and it did was, you? no, I didn't get to. Oh. I should have. Cause someone's called me. I got fat shamed. You tried to throw up last night, right? Didn't you? With the sausage pizza and night. the beer. And the- I've been, I've been binge eating. I've been Bad. binge drinking. I can tell. <laughs> <laughs> when it's made in the, glow, the glow yeah. is gone, dear. The glow is gone. The, no, you're I very to, glowy. It's really good that I don't have to like pay for the extra baggage under my eyes when I fly. I know. <gasps> I love oh, that. the hand behind? Talk to us about this. Spade and Sparrow <laughs> oh wines. Well, that's only one of three. She has a rosé. She has a red blend. And she, she also has a Pinot Grigio. Is this a collaboration with someone else or this is just no, your line? just mine. Wow. It was really important to me to have it just be mine and not collab with somebody because, but then I didn't realize how much work it was going to be. Cause I was like, don't you just slap your name on something and like get money? <laughs> yeah. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> and it's been a lot of work, but it's my pride and joy. I'm and so remember you guys it. came on my podcast and you were like, gays love a Pinot Grigio. And so I was like, well, then I'll bring two. Yeah. I yeah. Love that. Well, yeah. thank you so much for bringing it. We had a lot of fun uh, in Nashville that night. We were at Booze. What was the name of that club we were at? Um, pushing, pushing daisies. daisies, pushing daisies. It was the, mo- it was so funny because out of all the places in Nashville that are like honky tonk dive bar, live music, Joey picks a New York city nightclub it was in the middle. <laughs> I, walked in, it was like, <laughs> I was wearing Chelsea boots and a leopard top. I couldn't go to a honky tonk. That's true. That's very true. <laughs> I would have got hung from a tree. What time were we out? Was that my drunk night? No, that was no, that was my drunk night. No, it was not your drunk night. Yeah. Show night. Oh, it, was. it was drunk night. Oh yeah. my. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. was. What? She was humping straight men <gasps> at that. That's at, not at cute. Jake Ooh. Aldean's. What's his name? True. Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean. Just, no, no, no. no. It, was, it was on the other one. Kid Rock. Kid Rock's house. No. You did not go to Kid Rock's. Yes. I went to Kid oh, Rock's. You were with us. I had, get this. I didn't go oh, there. You come this I had 11 charges for one Bud Light each. $7.80. And then I just, if you looked at me that night, you were getting a beer. What? It was disgusting. But then I ended up um, blacking out, which was the first time in a while. We switch places because usually I'm the one who goes home early and is a little more responsible. And Joey is the one who likes That's, to stay out late. Yeah. For example, last night you were out till all. Well, I was, I was, I, I bet two units on the Celtics last night. And you know what that won, means? Yeah. You know what that means? He mansplains it. Well, Jason's a, in, really big into betting. <laughs> so is Bay, and I had no idea. Oh. I yeah. know idea about Do units. You call so him I Bay? Yeah. Well, you don't say his name on this. Podcast. Oh, okay. Then I won't say it. I love him. I know. His name is Muhammad. 
Uh, I love him. <laughs> good. He loves you. Yeah. Okay. Good. Um, um, wait. What were you saying? Oh, you went out. So I learned about. I, I went to swap. I went. I bet Did on you the win? Celtics. No, they oh, lost the game. Fudge. Yeah, it was tough. And you know what I said? And I was just, it's, we're going to be all over the place today. Newsflash. My, I have a smart betting idea for okay. Jason. Okay. Tell him I said this. Okay. And it's my new invention. Especially for, I think the girlfriend should be doing this for the boys. So there's nothing worse. When a boyfriend loses the game, your whole night's ruined. You're not getting oh, the dick that night because you're too depressed. <laughs> he bets his yeah. bottom dollar on Joey. Do you know what I mean? When it's, a man, when, when your boyfriend, yes. when your boyfriends, if, whether a gay relationship, straight lover, or anyone who's betting, lesbians could bet too. Right. Or maybe straight, straight girls bet. I don't know. I do. Oh. But I'm well, fine. Does that you count? Also just you're bisexual? <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. How did I not you didn't know? See her in the, you didn't see her in um, Beaver Dam, the new um, spinoff of the, of, of the uh, Bachelorette? No. Beaver so that's, Dam. That's the, the Beaverette, it's called. Uh, the Beaverette. Have you been in relation? Well, you continue your continue yeah. line of questioning, and then I'll have okay. a couple okay. questions. So I have a smart yeah. idea for gambling. Okay. We went through that. So boys that, you know, the people that gamble, when they lose the game, they're fucking upset the whole night. They're going to be in a mood it's, the next two days. Yeah. And they're going to, you know, you're not going to dick that night. So I have a smart idea. Okay. Bet against the team that you don't want to win. So they say, say I'm, 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 so last night I, I wanted to it's, bet against the Heat for, for money line. That means just to win the game. Right. So that if your team loses, at least you get fucking money from the other team winning. So it's like you're, it's a win-win situation. So I, I want to chime in here for a second. Have you done this? This is called fading. It's what? The well, it's it, I. I would call it an emotional hedge, and you're not the first person to think of it. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but it's a smart idea, right? It's not a bad idea. It's at the bar last night. So, 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 if they, so we're really gonna have sex. It's the first game of the series, and if they lose, it's gonna be fucking upsetting. We're not gonna be happy. I said at least you can win three hundred dollars, and you get so much more money. On the oddball. So, I was, so I, I was trying to balance against the Celtics. Oh, I was getting twenty five dollars. We gave a hundred dollars. Mm-hmm. If I bet on the I Heat last this. night, I got three fifty for betting one hundred dollars. Yeah. So I was like, why? When I was about to do it, he's like, "There's no chance you're gonna win." I was like, exactly. "I'm not doing it." I could then we could have three hundred dollars for more. <laughs> so I was like, <laughs> "Bleep that." This is the, Joey just figured out an emotional hedge. That's I, absolutely incredible. Go to the, uh, download the Barstool Sportsbook. Barstool Sportsbook guy. That's what I was betting. One eight hundred gambler. If you have I an tell issue Jason to bet against the other team. An emotional hedge, he Joe. D- but he does bet against the other teams sometimes. Um, like he reads up on all the stats. Well, he's and does a like Vegas numbers guy odds. anyway. He's very he, intellectual. He's an accountant. Yeah, but I she, bet on the Oilers the other night, which is my hockey team, and they were favored to win. And I was like, Canadian, I'm by going the way. all in, and they lost. And I was like, that's okay. I don't like money anyway. She has poutine in her panties. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of poutine in your panties, I didn't know you're bisexual. Oh yeah, you're out, I don't really I'm, talk about out, it. Out and a, you're out and about. <laughs> With your sexuality, did they know this when they cast you on The Bachelor? Well, I put it so they do like a very deep dive psychological, and they couldn't find out that Council Under was a (laughs) (laughs) yeah, (laughs) a deep psychological dive. Council Under goods, I really like. I actually do think they knew. I actually do think they knew. But when I was filling out all the questionnaires, they're like, you have to be 100% honest. Like, don't hold back. And I so I they asked if you're into girls, and I was like, yeah. And then the psychologist who sat me down, I had to sit with her for three hours. A psychologist? Yeah, they go through a whole thing. How cool. And I sat down with her and for three hours, and then she was like, don't tell them that you're into women. The they men. They spin it. Oh, Wait, so the, so the psychologist yeah. was hired by the network that you Then had she got to- fired because I think she was too much on our side, like for like our mental health. Yeah. So before you get cast and they say you're going to be in this, they give you a psychological evaluation. Yes. And they it go through like your questionnaire. It was like 682 questions. Can I raise my hand? Yes. Was this before you were, when you were, a, when you were a contestant? Yeah. So even that, even that level, when you're, when there's a whole slew of girls, they still were nice to you like that. Yeah. So when you got on your real ones, you just have to go through it again? Yeah. On when she, when oh, like, no, no. Then it so if you don't know what we're talking about, Caitlin was on The Bachelor as with a bunch of ladies trying to win the heart of a gentleman. And then she was named The Bachelorette, which then she's the she's the new Supreme. The she's HBIC. The, if she's the head bitch in charge. Now she's the queen. Everyone, everyone's fighting for her love. So she's a double she's a double whammy. It was really fun. What, what other kind of questions did they ask you on that? Were there any oh, ones that um, kind of knocked you back? You're like, why are they asking this? There was one I remember specifically. It said, have you ever been so angry to the point that you wanted you to that, hit somebody? And I said, yes. And then I was like, I didn't hit anybody, but I've gotten to the point of so. My late it, was, it, was the, it was the cashier. <laughs> it was the cashier <laughs> at Dwayne Reed. She wound up and smacked him. <laughs> have you ever gotten a fist fight? Um, no. Somebody punched me in the face once, but I didn't fight back. 
She was opened, it a loved one? She opened the cupboard too fast. It was she was clumsy. It was her fault. <laughs> yeah. it, I, we have to I, cut I was that. like, that's 18. inappropriate. <laughs> She's like, what is happening? It was my fault. I I opened the cupboard. I always open the cupboard. I loaded the dishwasher wrong. I fell out of the bed. It was you know what? It was a late <laughs> night and I didn't properly squeegee the floors. It was my own fault. I'm just a stupid whore. I don't deserve anything anyway. I'm so dumb. Anyway, I got to get back to the room. I haven't checked in in three minutes with my with my man, and he gets angry. <laughs> I can hang out in here all day. Oh my anyway, God, please do. Okay, the questions hit loved ones. What else? You got something crazy. This was eight years ago. I truly don't remember. Those are just the two that stood out to me. And then when you went on Bachelorette, did you have to do the same question again? And they're like, we already know this bitch is crazy. Yeah, they already <laughs> knew. Already they know. already knew. And okay. that's why I probably, they're, they're like, ooh, we can easily manipulate this bitch. Yeah. And oh so my did. God. Yeah. Well, you look thank, great. Thank Your God lips look great. <gasps> really? Have they been plumped recently? Um, I got a lip flip. You oh, I, I love a lip. Yeah, flip. yeah. So they maybe look that's really good. Really, yeah. And the color is pretty. What is that? What are you wearing on your lips? A little pillow talk. Pillow talk gloss. Um, pillow talk lipstick. <laughs> lipstick. Charlotte Tilbury. Yes. And then on top is I don't know some gloss that I found in Bailey's. Really pretty. Yeah. Do you usually steal things from Bailey, or is All it just the time. when you're on vacation? Well. Hmm. You she stole lives, her innocence. She lives in Vancouver. <laughs> I live in Nashville. Oh, you're also you also have poutine in your panties. Yeah. She, She's a poutine queen. Now you, yeah. um, you you guys are friends for a long time. Yeah, we've been friends for about eight, nine years. Yeah. Do you yep. work together? Or just sometimes we're doing a <laughs> collab together actually. Right now. <laughs> she is a boss and has her own she created a press on nail company. Oh. And they're so look at the ones she's wearing right now. They're Hello. so so they're mine. Do you we're have doing samples? a collab. Yeah, she has samples. Well, can Sandra have one? And so we're doing a collab <laughs> with I'm not wearing my nails scrunchie company. Anymore. Hold on, say that clearly so we can get a good one. Oh, uh, so do and quickies. Do is do is my scrunchie line. We're doing. You have a scrunchie I line. I cannot yeah. a fucking scrunchie line. You can't line. write that. You can't write that shit. Yeah. No. Like a hot, a, a hot girl. Yeah. She's like, I want my new scrunchie line. <laughs> you do have an eight. You have kind of an eighties aesthetic to you, which I, I love. love. That. Wait, you, you should have... give me Tiffany Amber Thiessen. <laughs> I met her once, and I was, was like, she you? No, she was the nicest. Oh. Um, I don't know who that is. What? Saved by the Bell. I know who. The, I don't. Which one was she? She's she was the hot one. Okay, got it. This is the best press of your life. Well, let's try Quickies. it on, honey. It's called Quickies? Yeah, and it's these tips count. <laughs> oh! Oh, uh, we that don't what you need brought that. this for us? <laughs> <laughs> we don't do that gay shit around here. <laughs> how cute. Are they cute? Oh, these are great. Oh, it said love is love. Stop, how cute. Where Ladies, we... get yourselves some Quickies. Where can we get these? And look, do you have your bag? <laughs> How, where can they get them? Go to getquickies.com right now and use code Mar Marty and you'll get 10% <laughs> off on your gay nails. You'll get 10% off plus a free bris if you're a male. <laughs> These are great. How yeah. much does this cost? Uh, so they're 22 US. That's great. I'm oh, not Canadian. She's Canadian fish. And they stay on. And you get free glue and a little file. Yeah. Let me see. Hold them up. Wow. They they stay on for like literally. Oh, Sometimes I'm like, I can't love get them off. <laughs> You go on, they stay out a little too strong. Yeah. <laughs> We're actually working out the formula. As we speak. Wait, do you want to know a crazy story? I had really long ones on one time and I was in Europe and the only She's tampons. Bragging. No, this is not bragging. The only tampons that they could get in Europe are like, they don't, have, applicator. they don't have an applicator. And so I had these long ass nails trying to shove one in. Now she will puncture her cervix. And I, I hurt myself. <laughs> yeah. What happened? So be careful. You scraped the, your uterine lining? Yeah. No, no, no. This was my own fault. <laughs> well, she, now, she, now, where she in Europe were you? I was in Germany. I was going to say Germany. You were? I swear to God I was. <laughs> what part? Why? No, you were. You, you were in Cologne. Oh, I wish. I was in Frankfurt. Frankfurt. Yeah. Frankfurt. You know, I went Horrible to Germany airport. once and there's some kinky sex things that go on there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Germany you, is the like- The red light district? I was in an Applebee's. It wasn't uh -huh. Applebee's. It was, it was a, Applebee's? It was the equivalent of an Applebee's type I was thing. in a Cracker Barrel in the Frankfurt <laughs> airport, y'all. <Yeah. laughs> there was a sex party going on in the middle of this in the middle of this restaurant. It was like a restaurant, but there was like, oh, like moaning and sex and no. slapping going on like in the other room of the restaurant. Did you join? No, but I sniffed, I sniffed tobacco. I had to blow my nose. Continue, you two. Why would you use paper towels to blow your nose? We don't have tissues Did here. you walk around the office? Is this your first time here? No, I've been here once. Yeah. And the chick's in the office? Oh, so gross. I'm I, sorry. No, that's okay. Um, chick's in the office. Yeah. And I used to have like a crush on Dave Portnoy. Oh. And 
and I walked through and he was podcasting and I like acted like a turd and I was like, <laughs> and, and he literally was like this. Oh, no. <laughs> and I was like, crushes over. Crushes but he was, over. we were in the same suite the other day at the Kentucky Derby. Oh, were you? Yeah. Did you say Did you hi? Say hi. It was very brief, but yes. And then it got too busy and then he, he left, but it was literally like he got up and walked by me and he was like, Oh, Hey. And I was like, how's it going? Did you meet Silvana, that his, his lady? So she's he, so gorgeous. Did, he didn't even introduce me. I'll introduce you. She's lovely. She does seem lovely. She's gorgeous. She's very pretty. So yeah. are you. Thank you. Um, you should have got there earlier. Before he, she got there. How long are you in New York? Then you even wifed up with a billionaire. Damn. Well, Jason's a billionaire. Isn't he? Tell us about how you met your man. I wish. Um, he, I, he was also from the Bachelor franchise. Yep. And then I interviewed him on my podcast. And then. For real? Yeah, but I was Did just Did you have a coming, question at the time? No. So I was, I actually was wanting him to be the Bachelor. Tatrick. And Tardic. Tardic. <laughs> <laughs> and I, so I, when I interviewed him, I was actually going through my breakup from the, the relationship from the show. Yeah. And when I met him, I was like, man, he is so nice. He should be the bachelor. And then he, when he met me, he was like, I want her to be my girlfriend, but I didn't know. And then we kept talking and then it turned into something. There was no flirt. Was he sitting in the very studio I was sitting in? The no, we were in studio. Seattle. Oh. Ugh. He used to work in Seattle. Banker. Oh yeah, oh. she's bank queen. Yeah, she's a bank I'm queen. I'm going to Seattle this, in, a, in a couple of weeks, couple months. Have you ever been? Month, no. It's so I love the food scene there. I'm excited. Really it's, good. I'm going right? for the All Star game, the MLB All Star game. Are you? What? I go every year. What? Oh, because uh, sissy. My friend is a my friend. Do you want to come? Yes. Oh my god, my friend is. Do you what very am I? High just fucking MLB. chop liver here. <laughs> Do you want to come? Yes, I'll go to Seattle in a heartbeat. We can go hang out with Tanya. Oh yeah, Tanya. Um. My philanthropy, my philanthropist. Oh, my personal philanthropist. Yeah, um, but yeah, I'm going to go and see. Did you catch a fish there? Uh, no, but you caught a dick there. I did catch a dick. There. Literally, a good you one, a dick which there. is better than a fish. How did yeah. he? How, who initiated your guy's romance? Was he kind of like? He did. He played that's a so trick. Nice. He played a trick on me, though. It was kind of <laughs> hi the salami. He said, "Smell <laughs> this." He said, yeah, smell my "Yeah, he smell my finger." No, he said, "Smell this rag." Next, next thing you know, she woke up. <laughs> Come here. Does this rag smell funny? <laughs> <laughs> That's her. I got black. Oh my god! No, he he sent me a picture of a girl that he was going to go on a date with. What? Yeah, and he was that like, was a little trickery. Like it was trickery, and so he was like, "Do you think I should go on a date with her?" And that was when I realized I had a crush on him because I was like, "No," and then I was like, "Oh." Oh, so he put, he made you jealous at first. Yeah. That's a really good. Tr I still try to it's do that with my boyfriend. It's cute and manipulative at the same time. <laughs> yeah, I was we, like cute. That's that's out. beautiful. You try to make Bay jealous a little bit from here from time to time, right? Um, I don't I don't dabble in it too much because I don't want to. If it happened to me, I'd, I'd oh kill you myself. oh my god, you would be. Over. So I don't I don't want to like I don't want to do something. Are that, you jealous? To, Oh, crazy joke! <laughs> oh, really? Oh my God! I, 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 uh, look at how he's sitting. Look at how gay he's sitting. It's really cute. I identify, and I, I understand. I identify with murderers because I, like, I understand. I know what you're going through, sister. Like, I just don't have the strength to pull the trigger. I used to be so jealous, and I'm not anymore. Because you have everything you need in life. Yeah, you're good. Yeah, and you have 75 rooms in your house, goes up all the way to heaven. At our house, and down to hell as well. Just to let you know. It just kept going and going and going. It is a bizarre yeah. setup, though. And it's time, a lot of, a lot of time. We're talking about her, her house in Nashville, beautiful home. She bought for a buffalo nickel, and now it's worth yeah. five million dollars. <laughs> I Two lucked out there. Um, <laughs> But there's so many little doors in that house. There are little, a lot of little doors. Storage. Well, that's where she keeps the little people who run around at night and could clean up <laughs> after her. I tried to make Zach jealous the other day. We were walking through the village. I go, "Oh, do you know what this building is?" He goes, "No." I go, "Oh, I slept with someone here a year ago." He just looks at me and he goes, "Why?" And that was the end of it. <laughs> you were Is that normal to But do? you guys were together a year and a half. Mm. So you slept with someone while you're together? I bring up ex-boyfriends all the time by accident. And Jason's like, are we really doing another ex-boyfriend story? It doesn't make you jealous at all? No. Like he- like His ex-boyfriends or yours? His, like he, <laughs> I'm friends with his ex who he was okay. in love with because it was on The Bachelor and she was a bachelorette and I love her. She's one of my favorite bachelorettes. I watched what was video. her name? We watched me, Becca me and Bay watched a video of it. I love her. Me and Bay watched a video of it. You did? And I I, I, I got so uncomfortable. Becca Kuf. I was like, I was like uh, how? No, no, not for you. I got uncomfortable. I was like, I said, this exists in the world. Um, And I was like, it was like your boyfriend, this your current her? boyfriend. <laughs> the first one on the brunette on the. I go, that's her? 
<laughs> That's definitely not her. There's a video of him like confessing his love for her yeah. on the show. And then oh, she I think it's adorable. Like, you, you do? Yeah. That would make me go crazy. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Go why. crazy. It, and it I'm gets so emotional. Crazy. He was like saying, I want to spend that. He was saying all the, the sweetest things in the world. I know. To, to know if I ever even knew that he's even thought something like that. Oh, you that's you, yeah. But you you're in it. You were able to date um I just know. 20 guys at the same time. Yeah. And you were able to receive them at the same time as the well. From, that, from your, that, that video I saw of you from Vivid Entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> have you ever done a porn, a bachelor, a bachelor and bachelorette porn where Chad, they all get gang banged with, a guy, with roses? There's Marty. a guy, Chad, who um, got into porn after Bachelor. What's but did they do a bachelor style uh, porn? I, I loved him, Chad Johnson. Chad can Johnson. You, I loved him so up much. So we can see the porn. Hold on. I Thank wonder you. if you can pull it up. Oh, Is sure. it actually a bachelor themed porn with all the girls? Like, can I steal you for a minute? And then she's like, bang, 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 bang. Can That's I take? Genius. Can I borrow you for a minute? Easy, easy bang, jump. Bang, easy jump. And they're like, sorry. It's what? not Bachelor themed. He just like did porn. Yeah. I want to see his dick. Wait, that's so funny. I've never, why have I not looked it up? I was like, oh, he did porn. Cool. And then I moved on. I, you know who did a porn that I found out the other day? Frederick Eklund from Million Dollar Listing. You know who that is? No. You'd have to pay me a million dollars. I would have gone to my head. I would know who that is. For the guy from Million Dollar Listing. You know who that is? No. I don't know who that is. He's like the Swedish guy from Million Dollar Listing on Bravo. No one does. Oh, You're a Bravo girly. I'm not. Yeah. Frederick. Simon Rex did a porn. Simon Rex just, uh, was jerk off porn for many years. Yeah, from for uh, club club eighteen twenty one. I would do that if I needed to a jerk off porn. Would really? you not? Well, would you show your face? Of I course. Did. He did. He has, his first OnlyFans video. We told this story on the show before. We made OnlyFans. I was like, oh, what's the first video going to be? <gasps> oh my I was god, like, my hair! I'm going to ease into. I'm oh, going to ease into nice. my the whole time. The lighting is great in here. We look so tan. Wait. I was like, I'm going to ease into my OnlyFans with like, you know, just like uh, my shirt off, whatever. Joey, I go, Joey, what was your first video? His first video <gasps> was you... him jerking off onto his own face. No. And he just posted it. Right. Not behind a paywall. Well, Sandra was in charge at the time of my, my Did acquisition. Did you make so much money? <laughs> no. <made> like $90. <laughs> no, I made. No, I didn't make as much money, but I did sell it for $60. No. Yeah. To each person that wanted it. 60 Oh, this Oh, guy. my God. Oh, shit. Look at go to the first one, Martin. Wait, imagine. imagine uh, oh, my God. Oh, imagine yeah. Caitlin was sitting on his oh, lap. Yikes. It's Caitlin's on, Caitlin's on his lap. <laughs> Caitlin's on his face. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh, that's a weird cock ring. It goes just Wait, around yeah. the balls. Look at him, like, with that's me over. giving the massage under the blanket. Sandra almost broke her neck trying to turn around to see it. <laughs> oh, my. Oh, oh my, my God. <laughs> I, 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 love, I loved him on the show so much. He was. <laughs> was he nice? He's incredible television. No, he's no, not he's, nice. No, he's no, 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 no. He, he, he got in fights with everybody. It was awesome. He, he like told Chris Scroll Harrison down. to fuck off yeah. or something. It was amazing. <laughs> Who was your least favorite person to work with on The Bachelor? Um, like, Chris Hansen? <laughs> that's, <laughs> a, that's, that's the that's catch, how a predator. To catch a predator. We did that last time. Hold but on. Wait. Let her, let her answer. Who's your least favorite person to work with on The Bachelor? Do you mean producer or like contestant? Contestant. Um... um Oh God, my least favorite person. Well, her name was Kelsey Poe. Did you but, call her Kelsey Ho? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. of Let's course. Go to of course. Um, she, but then she got really bullied after the show, and I oh, now I feel that's bad. Never okay. Yeah. So, but I. She told me my tattoos were desperate, and she told me you I nap too much so that I must be depressed. And I'm like, I actually am depressed. Oh my God. How many what tattoos tattoo? you have? Yeah, let's do a tattoo tour. I do have um, some pretty thirsty tattoos, but. Um, what do they say? Okay, well, first of all, I have two. It's a, it's a bullseye yeah, on her lower back. That's Kelsey Poe. <laughs> oh. Uh huh. Ew. She looks like a realtor from a bad neighborhood. <laughs> she was the villain and she was so mean to me. And she'd wait till the cameras She's were off. She's not pretty mean enough to be, to be a, a mean to anyone. She was really mean. Really mean. Look, look what God did to her, poor thing. <laughs> God, I can't see what she got these tattoos. So, what are those? Those are tears. Oh, tears. Yeah. This fits me way too well, by the way. Oh, oh, that looks really pretty on you. Should I throw it on? Should I show up at Zach's mother's house? Oh, we're charging as a woman? you. Trust me. Or the, or the, <laughs> otherwise, they're, otherwise, they're pulling the clip. <laughs> I'm like, <kidding>. yeah. <laughs> um, what do your tattoos mean? Um, like I have an ex-boyfriend initials tattooed on my ankle. Okay, you'd have to have that removed if we're going to start dating. Except it says JK because it was Justin and Caitlin. But then my one of my best friends, her name was Jess Knutson. So I was like, okay, that's cool. And now it's Jason and Caitlin. And who knows what it'll be next. Well, also we just kidding. Yeah, JK. <laughs> that's um, very true. Teardrops, JK. I have a spade on my knuckle because- Spade and sparrows. sparrows. I have sparrows on my arms. 
So how was that Thursday? Because she killed two bitches. No, it's not. It's not. It's I'm saying, what is she? So what is Poe talking about? I don't know. This dumb Poe. She. <laughs> I don't know. It didn't make sense. I have my family's birth dates on my ribs, except not like June nineteenth. It's like numbers. Just it's down. something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Month so and day. It, what? Month and day. Yeah, I and year. That. And it actually came in handy once because I. Um, <laughs> used my mom's credit card without her knowing once and then they asked for her like complete birth year and I was like oh fuck and I was like oh, and it was on my ribs oh yeah. so you're able to so you're able to her. commit credit card fraud due yeah. to a tattoo yeah what's the last law that you broke oh um, I peed in public recently, recently. <laughs> I think so were we with her? I think I peed in public with you. Probably. It sounds like something we would do. We had so much fun. You missed out on the Pedal Tavern. But oh, I, I heard that was black. Wait, I'm trying to think of illegal things. Um, <laughs> she goes, I killed a hooker on <laughs> I-94 I- last year. Does that count? Um, uh, I, peeing in public is against the law, right? Yeah. In Nashville, oh, big isn't time. It considered, isn't it encouraged in Nashville? <laughs> no. Not if you're On drag Broadway, queen. maybe. <laughs> yeah. If you squat, you're fine, I think is the rule. Wait, what was the last law you guys broke? Oh, God. Oh, I well, mean. Well, you did last night. Yeah. I hate Why? I hate it. I did <sighs> it once, and it made me like feel we like all- I had just. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, this can't be right, dear. Now, let, let's unpack are, that. Are we let's talking unpack. about the same thing? <laughs> Two gays were like, no, let's unpack this, Caitlin. I, I did it once and it gave me full blown anxiety and I hated the way I felt. You didn't do enough. <laughs> you got to power through the first three lines and then you're good to go. I did the first, 18 the, 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 years old. I did it and I've never again. Well, 18 years well, that old. That was in the 70s, Caitlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, isn't that the good stuff? And I was like at a bar called Cowboys where if you worked there long enough, they gave you implants. Oh, I love that. <laughs> That's what they're doing at the new Barstool Nashville bar, actually. Yeah. I love it. Oh, we're opening a bar in Nashville. Yeah. Shut Do you want to work there? No. <laughs> <laughs> Will you we give me free implants? We have a new server. We, we get, we get, we get um, money every time we, we get a, a new recruit to work there. You are actually opening a bar in Nashville? Yeah, it's going to yeah. be huge. Three floors. Well, we're only hiring servers who we get... Um, from the border detention centers. So we're going to actually bring them up. <laughs> no, we are. They're going to be, be, be so much fun. We're going to be yeah. there all the time. Wait, how fun? Because wait, can one floor- It's on floor, Broadway. It's can awesome. Can one floor be- Be bachelor themed? Yes. And Spade and Sparrow is like a wine bar called like some- We have this idea. I want to open a well, like- Pitch it to Dave Portnoy right in the camera. Say Dave. Dave. <laughs> Say, she I just, was with you. Tell them who you were in the box. She just goes this. Hi, hi, Dave. Um, my name's Caitlin Bristow. You actually follow me on Instagram. <laughs> um, and I was, no, see, that ruined it. Right do it now. again. He's do like, it again. I'm not do it again. Okay. Go, go, go. We're not cutting any of this. Hi, Dave. Uh, it's Caitlin Bristow. I run a couple businesses, so I know you respect me, but I was wondering if you wanted to open a bar with me in Nashville and we want to call it, what was it? Um, oh, shit. <sighs> No. Nope. Dirty Harry's. Nope. Um, okay. My pussy smells like poutine. I'm really blowing it. It's poutine. called, it's called poutine. <coughs> it's called poutine panties. And um, all the bachelorettes will want to come and we'll have, we'll give out roses because the, I'm blowing this. I'm blowing it. No, you're good. It. Well, let's help you with it. So it's going to be a bachelor theme bar on one floor of our bar stool, Nashville bar. Our waiters will obviously okay. be from the board this of detention centers. Take. This is the okay, last do, take. Do, 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 do. Maybe your waitresses are okay, like, bachelorette. They're like, hey, Dave. Okay. Hey, Dave. Um, it's Caitlin. I have this idea. I know you're doing a bar in Nashville, and I would like to be one of the floors, and I will bring all the bachelorettes there, and we will hand out roses and drink Spade and Sparrow's wine, and I will be there bartending, and could you give me fake boobs if I work there for long enough? And scene. Dave, <laughs> I would also like fake boobs. <laughs> you just said yours was removed. I know, but I want. I told you I want peck implants. I actually love. I have the smallest boobs. Do you have fake boobs or real boobs? Uh, do these look fake to well, you? I don't know. You, no, they're real. Would you ever get fake ones? Um, I've thought about it so many times. I go back and forth, but I, I don't think I would, because I, I love my boobs. Like naked, you don't need them. I love them. Yeah, they're, they're like my favorite part of my body. Mine too. Really? Of your body. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I, all boobs matter. I love fake. Yeah. I love real. And I think also think that people like petite Here people like you. Yeah. Here we go. Boobs can make you look bigger. Yeah. If you have big boobs, you're a very small frame. Yeah. I don't think they would suit me. I would go with ease. I just really, I get big Ange size. Remember big Ange, rest in peace. No. Oh my. None of you guys remember big Ange. I, I was friends with her. That? You were friends. Drita. Big Ange. Yeah. Marty. 
from Mob Wives. They're friends for years. She had, the, she had some of the most iconic breasts of all time. Really? But I think, but it's serious as I think you're gorgeous. You don't need any work done. Well, Thank you. Well, I get a lot of Botox though. Yeah. I need Botox. Oh, what is going on with my lips? I'm going to get my last M sculpt. It's the end of an era today. What's that? It's it's right, they, you actually work out. You don't need it. Yeah, they oh. put a machine on your stomach and you get 30,000 crunches. Oh, does that actually work? Yeah. Really? Yeah, you want to say? Yeah. Show me. He's been he's been going for six months. <gasps> Shredded. And nothing, look at her. Not bad. Girl. <laughs> Shredded. <laughs> I mean, he gets so jealous. I'm jealous of what? I'm saying. <laughs> If, 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 if it actually worked, like if, if you're actually shredded, yes. But it's like, I think people like pay for it. My problem is I, st I had like a decent body and then I got this. I was like, I can stop working out. So I stopped working out. So I've actually gotten softer as time has gone on with this. But people pay a lot of money for that. Oh yeah. I've had like, I had like six of them on my stomach. I've had six of them on my ass. You know I'm what I did once on my that I'll I regret with every part of my being. Cool <laughs> oh, why did you? I got that. I that works. It hurts okay, like it hurts a so bad. I did it once on my lower stomach. Yeah. But now if I gain weight, it just goes all to my hips. Sides? Hips. Yeah. So the, it's like the fat has to go somewhere. So you're doing it there and then it just has to go somewhere else. The massage hurts after. Remember that? It does hurt. They have to break up your frozen. I don't, I'm a surgery Sorry. queen. I'm, they go. I machine? hate it. And no, I've never done it again. I had that. Any girl listening, don't do it. Just fucking don't. But if you do do, do, it, do it, go to Sperling Dermatology. Correct. Sperling Dermatology. They'll do you right. They, everything works at Sperling. They have oh, a new I'm office. Kidding, go there. It's going to be on. Do you want to go there today? Okay. Do you want Botox today? <gasps> I'm going there right after the I show. Got, I'm running out. I just got Botox. You look like really pretty. Really? Yes. Thank you. I told you, you look like you look like a young Megan Fox. Okay, can I tell you why I'm in New York? Oh, that's what I, that's what I want to ask you why you're here. Yeah. Okay. Not just to hang out with me and be Should we start tonight? the interview now? Well, <laughs> I did come to hang out with you guys. I've wanted to come on your podcast for a long time now. I love you guys. And on Thursday, wait, is that today? Oh, shit, it's today. I'm going to be in the same room as Megan Fox. Where are you going tonight? The Sports Illustrated party. Oh, with Mar with fun. I should with go. Martha, Martha Stewart. Stewart. <gasps> My friend did her hair for that that uh, that uh, ad. Oh, cool. So Bailey um, does graphic design for them. And oh. so we're going. And then I saw Megan Fox. She might be there. Can and I so come? I, what I really want to do is Can get I a come? picture next to her. And be, yeah, <laughs> I want to I want to get a picture next to her and be like what you ordered online versus what you get. In the yes. Bag. And like her looking like a 10 and I'm just going to be like, yes. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I really want That's to do a that. Great Photoshop, idea. You're, I'm sure you're going to look just as stunning, but I think you should. No, well, let's, no, let's, not let's not get crazy. Here. Craigslist, Megan, Megan, Fox. Megan Fox. Megan Fox is a unicorn. Yeah. And she has body dysmorphia. Oh, Everyone yeah. does. I know. I bat. You know I bat. who's stunning who was in here yesterday? His good friend at KFC Radio, Camille Costa. Oh, oh, um, oh yeah! My Who? God, uh, Rob, we, Rob, Rob Gronkowski's wife. She is like Rob Gronkowski is stunning. She okay. is so beautiful and she's so cool. I love her story. She's such her. a hustler. She has her own thing going on. She's beautiful. She's nice. I just did a giveaway with her on Instagram. You did? What did you give her? Um, like Free we wine? did. So for Mother's Day, we <laughs> did a giveaway for um somebody to win money. How much? Why were we not involved? Well, because you're not a mom. Wait, and Jason's good friends with him. So Jason grew up with him. Yes. Yeah. With Gronk about in this. Buffalo? Yeah. Shit. I didn't and know he's that. friends with Josh Allen. Oh my gosh. That's like his favorite thing to do. He meets people. He's like, I grew up with Gronk and I'm friends with Josh Allen. No, I said to him. <laughs> I said to him from Buffalo. I said, oh my God, do you know my favorite players? So Josh Allen Yo. is a Bachelor fan. Oh. What's going on with him? Didn't him and his girlfriend like unfollow each other on Instagram recently? I didn't know he had a girlfriend. Oh yeah. They've been together since like high school. He's oh, straight. Wow. Josh Allen? Maybe yes. he's not. Okay. Is he? Well, I don't know. They broke up and they've been together since high school. And they're like, That's I, why. she unfollowed him. And I'm wondering if there's a scandal. Oh, I know. Did you watch the um, scandal on Bravo last night? I did. And I've never watched. I've never Two watched an ago. episode of Vanderpump. I've never watched an episode of Vanderpump Me ever. Either. And I watched. Oh, I have. Night, you, you, and you I was like. Day. So what was it? Like, la well, what was a cheating scandal? Oh, last scandal. No, I know what it was, but was last night the premiere of the season? It was. No, no it, it was, was the, the reunion. Finale. Oh, the, re the finale. The finale. Where it yes. all went. To where everything was exposed was last yeah. night. Yeah, Ariana. That's where Ar so a boyfriend and girlfriend were dating forever. Oh no, I know the whole story. I just and know what the significance. Th of that's last like night me, was. that's like me and that's like uh, me and my best friend. That's like Leah hooking up with my boyfriend. Shh. Well, I hate to break it to you. All right, we're taking a quick break from our interview with Caitlin Bristow to talk to you about our absolute favorite drink. You know what we're talking about? We're talking about Mamita's Live. 
live mucho this summer with our favorite tequila seltzer, Mamitas. It's time for mucho sun, mucho music, and mucho tequila. Mamitas comes in seven delicious flavors um, like mango, pineapple, lime. And I like the cocktail pack. It has spicy margarita, paloma, mm. um, classic margarita, and a tequila sunrise. It's the best thing to do in a party. This is tequila sunrise here. It is only 95 calories. It's That's gluten-free. Um, most of them have less than one gram of sugar in them. You can drink these. You feel light and lively all summer long, and it's refreshing. They're literally the best can of cocktail I've ever had in my life, and I'll be drinking them all summer, and I've been drinking them all morning as well. So I'm a little loopy. <laughs> Make sure you try them out. You know what? Enough with like the regular old seltzers you see at parties. Yes. I had people over the other day. I had a thing of Amitas. Everyone goes, "Oh, look at this! The can is beautiful. It tastes." So, so good. It's in your purse, Caitlin. I've been a traditionalist for many years, which is why I love the lime. Tequila lime, you cannot go I'm wrong. I'm zesty. And I, I like the spicy mark and the plumers is my, my two favorite. Um, the drink of summer made with real tequila and only 95 calories. Find Mamitas at drinkmamitas.com or order on GoPuff. Find tequila seltzer, uh, Mamitas at drinkmamitas.com. And if you drink them and you buy them, tag us. We'll repost it. That we will create a Try personal it. collection. Uh, personal um, connection and our advertisers will be happy because they'll see that we're going above and beyond. Trigmamitas.com. Goodbye. That's crazy. I would hook up with your boyfriend. Oh, good. If I was single. Do it. Oh, my God. Do it. No, do I would never do that to I'll my hook up jealous with your queen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's, let's do wife swap. Okay. Yeah. okay. Remember that show, wife and swap? This, this yes. is, after, this, after uh, Sports Illustrated tonight, I'll wear the swimsuit. I'll wear one of your swimsuit editions. Okay. And I'll be, I'll be, at, I'll be at the Royalton. Okay. Uh, I... I don't think you should get, he just threw out all of his ladies clothes and he's trying and to not get, all of them. You're trying, I, I did a small purge. There's okay. reserves in case that an urge hits late at night, but I don't want you relapsing this soon in your, into your recovery. <laughs> See, I, I it's like very, to... it's too soon. <laughs> it starts with the heel. Next thing you know, you're, you're on eighth Avenue with a lace front, with a lace front looking for Dick at 3am in the blue room and a long, a long white crossbody handbag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like that famous and a scuffed pump. Yeah. Uh, under the Stop. under the Queensboro oh. Bridge, oh, the Queensboro looking for a dick, <laughs> going. Hey y'all! I wish I was as funny as you guys. Oh. No, you have other things. You have other things going you have, for you. You have this. Yeah. Which is, so do you guys? Which you is have more valuable. this. Oh, you have a dining you. room table. <laughs> you have a dining room table. <laughs> she has a she has a she has like a set. It looks like a restoration harbor when you walk in, and she has she has like plates and napkins and forks on the table at all times. I said, do you have to dust this? Remember? <laughs> and I said I have someone that. Does Jason that was on the phone kidding. yesterday, going like this, on the internet, whatever, walking through the dining room, talking about finance, whatever. I was like, oh my god, I've been there. <laughs> Joey's the first one to click on the live. One yeah. viewer, Joey Costa. <laughs> hey y'all, can I join? He I like was, to pay uh, attention to me. He, my favorite thing is the other day I called him out. Um, he like will save filters that I use on Instagram, and then he uses like sparkle dust as his like filter, and I'm like, Jason, Stop. no, you don't need it. Yeah. Did you bring the dogs with you? I wish. Was it? Pino Do you know how famous ramen? your dogs are? Pino ramen. Are like literally, famous? people people were, they, they they like they of course they liked you, but I got more DMs like, oh my god, you met my my two favorite internet dogs in the world <laughs> when they were answering the door. They're very famous dogs. They're the with best good, with, dogs good, right. in the world. And whenever who's watching them? Um, my girlfriend Sarah. She okay. is incredible. She goes to the house and she loves them just as much as I do. You have a nanny cam to make sure she's not beating them. Yeah, All right, she's beating Furbo. them. Oh my god. She, well, they've been they or putting peanut butter streets. on her on her pussy. <laughs> Oh, more like, realistic. I know a guy that did that in high school. Was his name Marty? No. <laughs> and by high school, she means currently. And guy, she means Jason. <laughs> so last week, I came home early. Oh, my yeah. sweet dogs. Whenever the time, them. it's not going to happen anytime soon, but please check on me because I will commit suicide. Yeah. No, yes. please don't. No, I, Marty, I Marty just goes. Go <laughs> oh, yeah, what do you have after this? Do you have any more interviews? Any other celebrity interviews you're working with today? So, do you or know, just us? Do you know Joe, who they call him Rogan? grocery store Joe? <laughs> Joe I'm doing Rogan, Rogan after this. Grocery <laughs> store Joe. He was on one episode of The Bachelor at. Got sent home night one, but the world fell in love with him. You're and really then he went doing on a, a, dancing a big with the tour. stars, and then he's like, <laughs> yes, I do know Paradise, how. and now he's going on a new reality oh. show. So I'm interviewing him. <sighs> Oh, for right. your podcast, for Off the Vine. For, yeah. You, I'm a little jealous of you as well. You have a, such a wildly successful podcast. That's Every really seven, nice. No, you really do. It's like, I, I again, I, I told you, when we met, I told you I, I had to Google you because I didn't know who I was, where I was going. Well, we the haven't seen of. the numbers, Joe, so let's I've the seen the numbers. Okay, cool. Just check. <laughs> no, Shane. <laughs> Shane. Reading came before Shane. 250,000 followers. I know. Her, She's, just yeah. for her. Her um, podcast. Well, plug it. Tell everyone where they can find your podcast. They, I'm sure they already know where all everything is. Anywhere that's going discount on. podcasts are found. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> it's off the vine podcast. Okay. It's I've been doing it for six years and it is my favorite thing on planet earth to do because I get to talk to such incredible people. And then I meet like new best friends and we, it's so fun. We like normally we have like a whole spreadsheet and we prepare all these things. I said, I didn't say anything. We didn't speak this morning, but like we don't, <laughs> yeah. I, we don't have to prepare anything with you yeah. because it's like, you're just so that. easy to talk to. Oh, that's nice. And we, we do get like, kind of like, all over the place. And the same thing with your podcast. You're kind of like all over the place a little I'm bit too. all over. I'm, when you said unhinged, I'm like, that is me all the time. I was so hammered the other night and had to podcast. <laughs> and it was, I like at the end of it, I was like, oh God, was that good? I watched it on YouTube and I never watch my own things or listen because oh, I'm like so critical. And I was like belly laughing because I was like, <laughs> I've never seen this material before. Like, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Who it is she? so funny. That's her alter ego. Yeah. Hurricane Katrina. Oh, oh, that's what it's called. That's what I call myself when I'm. Do we have to cut that too? No, 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 no. no well, she's no, from was, Louisiana, so it hits home. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. Marty I'm was sorry. the one fending people off at the Superdome, <laughs> trying, to, trying to prevent yeah, them from. No, getting people in. actually uh, evacuated to where I live, so oh, we were my, untouched. Oh. My drunk name is um, you fat drunk. Yeah. <gasps> oh, that like hurt my soul hearing that. Oh, it's okay. Okay. My mother, that's what my mother used to call me oh. before she passed. God oh. rest her soul. Um, and we can make sure you get her wine, spade and sparrow everywhere wine is found. This Kate. is 12.5% alcohol. It's white vin blanc. Read the back. Read the Product label. of US. This says, oh, um, hair up, sweats on, wine poured. Pussy out, <laughs> black dick. Oh, sorry. That's the second <laughs> <laughs> with refreshing notes of crisp apple and citrus, this one is perfect. Fits pairs perfectly with you. Don't save it for a special occasion because, darling, you are the special occasion. And then it says the Second Amendment protects the First Amendment. <laughs> God hates. <laughs> These die, press on die, nails die. are made in a sweatshop in China what? by 10 year olds. <laughs> the finest grapes from New Jersey. Can you please read the funniest part? Yes. Oh. Great legs, full body. And the wine's not that either. All right, guys, quick, quick break from our absolute unhinged interview with Caitlin to talk to you about Factor. Factor meals. I love these. I just posted on my Instagram. Joey, during the prime of the season, you need wholesome, convenient meals to energize yes. you for warmer, more active days and keep you on track for your goals. Factor can help you fuel up with ready to eat meals delivered straight to your door. You'll save time, eat well, which is huge. You're going to eat well. You're going to be healthy and tackle well, everything. All that, that's all mumbo jumbo to me. The fact is, the factor is, um, that's healthy meals and you're going to, yeah. you're going to be in your feel better. You're going to look better. I, summer's coming. It's coming before you know it. People Get are wearing bikinis around the neighborhood. I didn't realize it was that quickly. So that's why I've been using factor and I'm doing the, uh, the veggie meals and I'm doing low calorie meals with as well, but they have everything, whatever diet you're on, keto, keto paleo, um, veggie, vegan, um, calorie smart. They have everything. So I've been doing calorie smart and the veggie, um, because, and I've already lost like a bunch of weight. Yeah, the, the, the best thing about factor is that like some meal kits, they'll send it to you. They're frozen. It's a lot of prep work. It's a pain in the ass. Factor is always fresh, never frozen. Every meal, puncture the top of it, two minutes in the microwave, in, it's out. It's so much quicker than takeout and you're eating so much more healthy and you're saving so much money. I would order takeout when I'm lazy, don't feel like cooking or getting my kitchen dirty after the ladies come and clean. Um, and I would order takeout thinking that's the best option. I would spend so much money. Yep. I would be eating crap because be, I'm, I'm like ordering things I don't need. I'm overeating. With this, is it's and it takes it takes like a half hour or 45 minutes. With this, literally, you can't have the fridge, two minutes and you're eating healthy meals. You're satisfied and you're nourished and it's the best thing. Simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavored packed meals delivered direct to your door. Head to factormeals.com slash out50 and use code out50 to get 50% off your first box. Think about that. 50% off your first box of Factor. That's code OUT50 at factormeals.com slash OUT50 to get 50% off your first box. Now, here we are back to our interview with Caitlin Bristow. Before we let you go, we want to play a quick game with you. It's called okay. Yes, Ma'am, No, no Ma'am. Ma Joey, we, explain what's going on. We have these high-end paddles here that one of our, our team Sheep. members made for us. And basically, we're going to rattle off questions. I think we should all ask each other questions. Okay. And I'll start the question. Okay. And then you can ask questions, you can ask questions. Okay. We're all going to answer Yes, Ma'am, No, Ma'am. Okay. Wiping back to front. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Back to front. No, yeah. ma'am. No, ma'am. Great. Um, Trish? Um, sleeping with someone on the first date. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> <laughs> Caitlin? Yeah? Ask us now. Ask us oh, questions. Um, okay. Uh, would you rather fuck a goat and this have- This isn't yes, ma'am or no, ma'am. Oh. <laughs> Pay yes attention, no. Caitlin. But I would have fucked a goat. Yes. Oh, it's not. Would you rather? Okay. Um, oh, yes, ma'am or no, ma'am. Um, shaving your pubes. 
Fully off? Yeah. No, that's a no, ma'am. No, ma'am. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, ma'am. You love a bush. I like a, I like a small bush. Small now, bush. Now he has a high pubic area. Now it'll come right up under the chin. Actually, <laughs> believe it or not. Um, yes, ma'am. The binging and purging. Binging and purging. Binging and purging. Uh, binging, yes. Purging, no. What are you, binging TV? No, food. eating a ton of food and throwing oh, up. Are you not, about you, never, you never gotten to bulimia? No. What? I have, a, I have a- Get it together, girl. <laughs> I have a puke phobia. I do too. So I I could never. I couldn't either. But I would. What about diuretics? No, taking yes, laxatives, be binging, and then taking a ton of laxatives. Yes. I had appendicitis. My boyfriend. Were you ever I was fat? Constipated. Um. No. Oh, I, then, then you, 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 you're too to be changed, honey. But I still have. I have severe body dysmorphia. You, you got to be too something to do something. Okay, girl. Um, <laughs> Lux Noir is coming out. Here you we go. Be too um, something to do something. The insurrection. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Yes. What is that? Yeah, the, when they charge the capital? When we charge the capital. Correct. When we charge the capital. Um, chunky Cartier watches that you got at an auction house and then flaunted around the office. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Yes. yes. Oh, she hit her with a no, ma'am. She hit her with a no, ma'am. Um, having a threesome with Jason um, Tardick tonight and your gay best friend in the hotel. Marty's crotch cam. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Sandra's crotch cam. <laughs> Press on nails and a scrunchie brand. Oh, can we, can we have your scrunchie brand? You, you yeah. can if you want. What is it called? It's called Do Edit. And we have other things too. We used to do like sweatsuits and stuff, but now we just do Do scrunchies. Edit. So scrunchies, I started wearing when it wasn't cool. Like it went out and it was 90s and then it went out, but I continue to wear them because they don't damage your hair like elastics do. Yes. And... I wear them at night, silk scrunchies all the time. It like really helped me with hair growth. So I, oh, I had like ooh. a balding moment where I had alopecia. From stress. stress. Okay, Jada Pinkett. From, uh, yes. <laughs> get, a, get a Jada. I had a Jada Pinkett moment yeah. and I had alopecia from being on The Bachelorette. Wow. Yeah. The stress was that bad that you really started Can to you lose your hair? Can send to yeah. our house? Yeah. I really need some scrunchies. Sandra, you want a scrunchie? Well, fix this. Cute. I got a pizza slice out of the side of my head. Oh, it's, you do not. A little bit? No. Thank you, Marty. <laughs> you got good crazy. hair too. Thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. The stress must have been overwhelming it while you were on the bachelor. I didn't have a period at one point. I lost hair. That only happens to fat people normally. What? Not having periods? Yes. Fat people don't get their periods. That's not what? true. Yes, it is. Fat people. You, you're making a blanket <laughs> statement that says fat people don't get their periods. Yeah, it is, yeah, oh, it is really? the opposite. Isn't it if you're too skinny? Yeah, if you're too skinny. Well, I had a fat friend that never got a period. Marty, when's That's the last cool. time you had your period? Uh, it's been a minute. Yeah. I was, uh, well, I've been spotting for many weeks. Did though. you hear that period blood is actually good for skin? Yes. I heard that. Yeah. Sort of. Uh, they it's, did that BuzzFeed video once where they like covered their faces in it and it was just the grossest thing I've ever seen in my entire in life. period Period blood, blood is gross Yeah. And well, and they, well, no, they were talking about how gross it smelled and it's just <gasps> like, it was just a bad video to watch. Oh. Yeah. Yes, yes ma'am. No, ma'am. Nude from the waist down on a Zoom call. Oh, of course. Have you really done that? Yeah. The other day, I actually, when I was drunk podcasting, I wasn't, I didn't have pants on. I just had a big sweater. And then I was like, oh, I forgot this was on YouTube. <laughs> yes, you ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma Cyberbullying. Panties on. Oh. Yes or no, ma'am. Cyberbullying? Yes. Yeah. People need mean? to be checked. What do you mean? Yes. Like I would cyberbully would someone? You say, yes. Yeah, I would. It depends. If they're asking for it. I cyberbully Meghan Markle all the time. <gasps> no. You He's, like her? I love her. She ruined the, she ruined the Meghan family. Meghan Markle, no, ma'am. Oh, yes, ma'am. Oh, I love Meghan. <gasps> would you have married Harry if she didn't? Yes, ma'am. I would have too. I have a And I would have done all the rules. Crush on Harry. <laughs> you would have done all the yes, rules. Yes, ma'am, no, ma'am. Uncircumcised penises. <laughs> I was going to ask that one. Yeah, it's, our minds are in the right place. That's for Harry. That's a yes, yes ma'am. Yes, you know why? Because it's like an extra treat. It's like it's, a, it's like finding a, a, a prize in the Cracker Jack box. And you get you get a uh, snack at the end, the, the dick cheese. Yeah. <laughs> Anywho, yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Interracial swimming pools. <laughs> <laughs> yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Roe v. Wade. What is that? The oh, the abortion. Oh wait, right? yes. <laughs> oh, this. Like we're for abortions. Yes. Yeah. It's your body. Yeah. Your body, your choice. Abs yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. It's coming right now. He's looked at. He looked me up and down. He looked me up and down. He goes, "Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am." Um, continue to get cool sculpting, even if you know it's not working. Yes, ma'am. I'm so over cool sculpting. Cool sculpting works like a fucking charm. 
Mm. Cool sculpting. Sorry, I know many men, many straight men here who have gotten cool sculpting from Sperling Dermatology. If you're in New Jersey, go to Sperling Dermatology. <laughs> Sperling Dermatology, Sperling Dermatology, Sperling Dermatology. Botox, Dysport, Vampire Facials, Morpheus. They got it all. Wow. Go to Sperling Dermatology. That's a free ad. I don't care. Wow. Yes, well, ma'am. No, ma'am. This studio. No. Why? The wallpaper is peeling. I kind of like that, though. Well, this is a lot better. Where's the plant? Do it oh, twice a week here. and then tell me. Tell me <laughs> <laughs> Do you know that only? Uh, do you know that so all the podcasts get their own studios here except for us? Why? That's not true. We're not famous enough. Yeah, you are. Are That's you kidding me? True. I saw you in Nashville. Everybody, we would hold hands yeah. and oh. walk everywhere, and and everyone would stop you yeah. and be like, "Oh my god." Joey, Joey, and you would be like, "This is no. my assistant, Caitlin." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like holding your belt loop, like. Ugh. I know we had so much fun. Um, fun. Um, do you want to go out after the Saturday Night Live party tonight, Sports, mm -hmm. Sports Illustrated party? Yeah, let's do it. Can I get invited to that? Yeah, I'm a big celebrity. Uh, let me just let me just say, don't invite him. Why? Don't invite him. <laughs> Tell them he'll do if an you want to be up until story. seven no, I'll do whatever. in a bad bar in the Lower East Side, questioning your. Oh, you you're not sleeping. You leave tomorrow? No, I don't. We have a 7 a.m. flight back to back to Canada. A. A. <laughs> back to Canada. Eh? Yeah. Back to her igloo. Back to fuck Justin Bieber. <gasps> no. I. Oh, yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought you were saying like, fuck that guy. No, fuck oh. him right in the ass. I love Biebs. Yeah. Did you know you're the same age as him? No, he's much younger than me. Oh, did you grow up with him? What? <laughs> She's from Canada. Not everyone in Canada. Grew I also up grew up with Ryan Gosling and Avril Lavigne. You did. And Ryan Reynolds. You went to the same school. Yep. All of us went to the same school in Canada. And you were on, you can't Jim say that Carey. on television. What? You can't say that on Drew television. Drew Carey? Can't say. You remember that show, the Canadian show? No. You can't do that on television? Oh, I was It's confused. in the 80s. Oh, I don't know. You know, know who remembers that? Yes, ma'am. No, ma'am. Ending this podcast. Oh. No. Oh, oh. Well, you can go to cool. He's got to go to cool. I got to go to cool. Okay, 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 okay. I will stay in chat. I, that was, I had a lot of fun. This was. This has been lovely. We want you to stay around. We want to go out in New York when I'm. And this around is not just. So. We're not just television friends. We are actually real friends. We text yes. every day. Real friends, best friends. Yes. Best and I'm going to be the next season of The Bachelor. The Bachelor. <laughs> and I will be the host of The Beaverette. <laughs> the yeah. Beaverette. Tell them where we can get your wine. Tell um, them everything. Go to PootsandPanties.com. It's spade, and, spade and, sparrow. and sparrows. It's delicious. Com. And um, also some liquor stores in New York have it. Ooh. But online. Um, spade and sparrow. Com. And if you're in, if you're in Florida, Texas, or Georgia, it's no in every abortion. target. Oh, sorry. Ah! Say, it say it again. Say it again. <laughs> if you're in Texas, Florida, and Georgia, you can get it at Target. Do they have wine at Target there? Yeah. We have nothing at Target here. We don't have it in Tennessee either. No. We wine. only have one Target in Manhattan. It's Did you know like in Tennessee, Tennessee you, you couldn't, couldn't buy wine on Sundays because it's Jesus's day? Blue Laws. They had that in Massachusetts. They do? Uh, liquor stores they closed down it, early. They changed it though, but it was crazy. In Louisiana, you can get hard liquor at like CVS. Good so, Lord. Really? Yeah, it's awesome. That's cool. Yeah. Oh my God. Yeah, Canada doesn't, you can't get alcohol anywhere but a liquor store. Thank you so much for having me. Of Make course, sure to follow her you. on Instagram. Um, what is your Instagram again? Just at Caitlin Bristow. And Off the Vine podcast. Um, off the Vine podcast. You can also follow Out and About podcast. And M is for Marticia at martyblack.com. All right. Thank you guys. See you next week. No, ma'am. I won't be Yay. here next week. <laughs> <laughs>